This tornado season is already pointing to be a very active one with March, April, May, and June, as well as July possibly being very active for tornado season. Let's go right ahead and dive on into today's video. Here is the can sips, which already points towards an extremely active deep south season for March. This is already evident as we have seen a severe weather outbreak and a tornado outbreak, not only in this region this month, but also as well as out here towards the central plains and the Midwest. As of recording this video on March 15th, yesterday, we had a major severe weather outbreak and tornado outbreak for the central United States and portions of the Deep South. Already an EF3, two EF3 tornadoes have been confirmed from this outbreak, and this is just the start of our tornado season here for 2024, with this possibly being the most hail reports that we have seen ever since 2004 in a single day. Still continuing the trend of an active tornado season, can SIPs models point towards an active Deep South season for not only March, but also April and this will most likely shift up northwestward as we go into May, which could be our most active month of 2024, depending on how it plays out. Can SIP models struggle just a little bit here for June, but still continue with above average anomalies for the southeastern United States. Now, keep in mind, these are above average anomalies for precipitation, so this is going to start to interfere with our hyperactive hurricane season towards the August and September months here once we look at the Can SIP models for those. Let's go ahead and continue with today's video, but before I go ahead and continue. I do want y'all to know that this is my first time making a forecast for spring, so please keep that in mind, and we will see how dead wrong I am at the end of the season. Now, as I just said, we're not going to spend too much time on these because they're going to be interfering with our hurricane season, but July continues with the potential for a very active tornado season, and again, this could be a hyperactive hurricane season, so our months on August, September, and October are going to be interfered by that hurricane season, so I will have more details on that for my hurricane forecast around May 20th. Here's our current sea surface temperatures, which does show a decline, meaning that a La Nina is most likely on the horizon for the middle portion of this year. Here's the CANSIPS models for July, which does show that there is going to most likely be a La Nina by around July, so that could influence our jet stream, because an El Nino would be more of a southern jet stream, whereas a La Nina would most likely result in more of a northern jet stream, which could in return increase the potential for severe weather in areas like the Midwest whenever that La Nina does occur. If you guys are enjoying today's video, make sure you hit that like button, because it goes to spread this word about severe weather, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new, and share this video with your family, friends, and on social media. Let's continue with today's video. Models and ensembles are already picking up for the potential of severe weather on March 21st, Thursday, as well as Tuesday, March 27th, which could in return once again increase the potential for an above average tornado season, and this is most likely going to of course be for March in the deep south. Here is where we typically see severe weather for March, and as you could tell, that is exactly where we have seen severe weather and where the GFS and GEFS ensemble members are starting to point for the potential of severe weather on the latter half of March. Now here is where we typically see severe weather for April and as you can see that is really focused over Oklahoma and Texas and I believe that will be nearly the same case this year but again I do believe it will be mostly above average for this tornado season so I'm anticipating a little bit of a better chance to see severe weather in those locations. Now here is May and yeah of course May gets a little bit crazy. Now I'm anticipating a bit of an elevated chance for severe weather more focused actually towards the Tennessee Valley. I think places like Kentucky and Tennessee and Arkansas will actually see a lot more severe weather here in May than normal and of course I think we will see a return to the uh, more infamous tornado alley out there in Oklahoma Kansas and Nebraska as well as Missouri so that is once again for May and I believe we will have increased probabilities for severe weather there as well so here's how many tornadoes we see per year and you can see that we are right now in that red line just a little bit beneath our average which is that black line and of course last year 2023 we actually were relatively on track we were slightly above where we are right now and of course 2023 due to that super outbreak we blew up in late March but the, actually last year was believe it or not above average for tornadoes and I think we will actually end up close to where 2023 ended up but I think we'll see more tornadoes in the plains and I will go ahead and have more on that at the end of the video so stay tuned so here's how many tornadoes we see per year on average now I do believe the plains will have a bit more activity so I'm thinking Texas is gonna see closer to 150 tornadoes Oklahoma I believe we'll see closer to 70 Kansas probably closer to 
90. Nebraska around 50. Iowa, I believe they will also have above average at about 52. And Missouri about 50. And Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, I also believe all those areas will also end up above average as well as Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio. Especially towards the middle portion of the year, probably June and July. Especially July looks extremely active for the Midwest and the Mid-Atlantic. So those numbers will probably be a bit more above average than what we normally see here in the U.S. So I do believe we will be seeing an above average tornado season. Now here is where our most severe weather occurs on June and you can see that is really focused out towards the Great Plains, towards Kansas, Nebraska, and Oklahoma. A little bit more north than what it normally is in May. So I do believe June will have elevated probabilities in all those three locations, Nebraska, Kansas, as well as Oklahoma. In the Midwest, again, I think June and July is going to be very active for the Midwest and the Mid-Atlantic. Also, you see those elevated probabilities for June and they will most likely continue into July as well. Here's our severe probabilities for July on average, and you can see they are really focused out there towards the Mid-Atlantic once again, and they kind of tamper off towards the Northern Great Plains as well as the Midwest. I do think that will be the case, but I think that we will see a bit more activity towards the Midwest in July than normal, as well as especially in the Mid-Atlantic. One last thing before I give you guys my tornado forecast for this year, I want to show you guys the severe reports that we got for 2022. Now, I can't show it for 2023 because there's still some preliminary stuff, believe it or not. But for 2022, we got well over 7,000 hail reports, 17,000 wind reports, and a little bit over 1,100 tornado reports. Again, now I do believe this is going to be above average for 2024. So I'm going to go ahead and say that we're probably going to see. So I think we're going to see about 1,390 tornadoes this season that's my random number and uh, yeah I do believe like I said most of that is probably going to occur in the Great Plains in the deep south I think the Great Plains is going to be more active put your number down below on how many tornadoes you think will occur this season now that brings me to my tornado forecast for this year or I should say for this tornado season which is going to be here for March I believe we're, the majority of our activity is really going to stick towards the southern side of the United States this includes portions of like Oklahoma Texas Louisiana Arkansas Mississippi Alabama Tennessee Georgia Georgia. I believe that's where we're going to have the potential for our most active tornado season. I just showed y'all just a few seconds ago the potential for severe weather towards the latter half of March and I do believe once again that's going to increase the potential for severe weather. And then as for April, I think this is really going to slowly shift north. So I think this is going to be for more of the same area, maybe including portions of Kentucky, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio as well as West Virginia towards portions of uh, the maybe the middle and latter half of April that's going to start shifting more north and then may i believe is going to be our most active month where we could see severe weather from nebraska iowa wisconsin michigan all the way down to the gulf coast line i believe that that whole entire region will have the chance for an above average tornado season thank you guys so much for watching today's video make sure y'all have already hit that like button subscribe to the channel with the notification bell set to all that way you'll be notified when i go live or upload another video like this and share this with your family friends and on social media this took me over two hours to make so i hope you guys did enjoy leave the feedback in the comments below and also guess how many tornadoes may occur this year keep it reasonable preferably between a thousand and one thousand at four hundred stay safe watch severe weather have a great rest of y'all's day and or night goodbye